Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have a product to review today. This product was sent to me for free by the fine people of Kaiweeks for the purpose of this review and for our consideration. So let's take a look at it. And before I go any further, I want to say how much I like these zippered padded cloth cases as compared to the typical plastic blow molded case that things only ever seem to fit in once when you get it and once you take it out and go to put it back, nothing fits in it anymore. I wind up throwing more of those away than I keep. This is really nice. So let's take a look at it. This is, as you will see, a 16-piece file set. We have, and these are all cross-cut files, double-cut if you prefer. There is a one that's flat and then round on the other side, one that's flat on both sides, triangular one that has um, has teeth on all four, all three sides, and a very coarse round one. And then there are 12 needle files of all different shapes and types. Again, all all um, double cut files. Well, let's just take a look at one of the large ones. And you can see, let me get a tape measure sitting here. You can see about, I'm sorry, I don't have a metric tape measure near me today, but you can see about the overall length of these files. The files are made out of T12 carbon steel, which should be a very long-lasting steel for a file. It's very hard. And the handles are ABS with um, a TPR black overmolding with a nice little grippy area here. These should last quite long, and um, they are in there really good. And they come, the file blade comes straight out of the handle, which is one of my minor pet peeves about files. So these look really nice. So um, I got some material here. Let's test it on a couple of different kinds of material. Let's start with, let me close this up so I'm not filing inside there. Let's start with something silly, wood. Yes, it cuts into wood really well. Here is some acrylic. And um, not shockingly enough, it cuts into the acrylic really well. Here is some PLA plastic, and I think we know it's going to cut into that, and it does. Here is some ABS, and it does cut the ABS very easily. Here is a piece of aluminum. I have no idea what this aluminum is, something I had laying around. And it does cut quite easily into the aluminum. Now here's a harder piece of aluminum. I bought this for a project a number of years ago. I forget the grade, but it was a higher, a higher harder grade of aluminum. And I can do it without skating, you'll see it cuts into that aluminum quite easily. And even though Kaiweeks doesn't seem to list steel as something you should use it on, these are steel type files. These are not really wood rasps. Um, so yeah, this is um, definitely a piece of probably some kind of mild steel. So got a nice bite on that. It's not skating across it at all. So um, yeah, you can see it bites into this into that mild steel very well. So, my file brushes out in the garage. So that's quite nice. And one thing about this larger flat file, it's got a feature on it that I really like. When you're trying to file into a corner of a piece of material, and you're trying to say I'm trying to file my thumb, but I don't want to file there, I wind up these files that have teeth on both edges, I wind up grinding the teeth off one edge so I can get down against that and file without filing over here. This already has the teeth gone off one edge. I don't know whether they, I'm assuming they did that on purpose. It could use a little bit of smoothing work on it, but um, that's really nice. That would save me some time because I don't like teeth on both edge so I can get into a corner. The, um, the small files, all have the same ABS TPR handle. Some of the small files, the blade doesn't come out perfectly straight on. This one is quite nice. Some of the others have an angle of three or four degrees on it. Again, it doesn't affect the use in any way. It's just one of my pet peeves. So let's pop over to Amazon's website and let's take a look at it over there. And then I will come back and I will give you my final opinion. 
Okay, so here's the product page over at Amazon, Kiwiq 16 piece file set, and you will see that it has 28 ratings and a five star review. And no, one of those ratings is not mine. I have not left a review of this on Amazon yet. I didn't buy it from Amazon. Kiwiq did send this to me for free, but I may leave a review here anyway because I do actually kind of like them. And you'll see it shows you some. Oops, it shows you some sizes the type of teeth that are on them, um, the, the profile that are on the needle files, and gives you a close-up view of them. Um, T12 carbon steel, which is a, um, a good file steel, should last you a long time unless you do something stupid with them. And um, ABS handles and TPR overmolding, and again, as long as you don't dunk them in acid, those handles should last you a good long time. So, $29.59 for a 16-piece file set with large and small needle files. That is a pretty good price for a complete set of files. So let me go back over to the files and I'll give you my final opinion. So my final verdict on the Kiwiq 16-piece file set. I like it a lot. The handles are very comfy. They're firmly attached. The blades are sharp. You have all the sizes and profiles that the average person is ever going to need. So if you're fitting up a 3D printer and things don't quite fit right, a file is where you want to be to get that final nice fit up. And the same if you're making something new. Between the time that you saw something and the time you sand it, unless you're an expert with a power tool or rotary tool, a file is where you need to be. And this is a great general purpose file set and surprisingly complete and well-rounded for $29.95 or whatever the price at Amazon was. So, big thumbs up to Kai Weeks, and thanks again for sending me this product, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will look for you the next time. Bye for now.